It matters where you buy bundles. Paxify. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of State of Survival at Wacker Rush Gaming. Today we're going to talk about troops. Troops are one of the most important source of gaining battle power in State of Survival. Whether you are a new or an old state to State of Survival, you need to know that your troops are precious for the long game in State of Survival. When you're new, it is important for you to know you need to avoid killing your troops for the pitiful rewards during kill events. Yes, we know it's exciting, but trust me, you will need those troops in the future. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about the 5 key tips to improve and maximize your troop training speeds. The first thing that each and every one of you should know is always to be a good sport and help your alliance members by tapping on this golden badge on top of your alliance HQ members. You have 6 opportunities a day to help reduce 6 hours worth of troop training for your alliance members. Now, if everyone does it, it would result in a huge compounded effect in the long run for your alliance. Next, let's jump into the research lab. The tree to boost your training speed is within the development tree. Whether you're a rally leader or a rally joiner, you should focus on improving your troop training speed. Don't get mistaken, training yard only increases the amount of troops you are training and it is not worth it. So, at the early stages, you can skip that and focus on training routines right until the end of the research tree. If you max all the training routines out, you will achieve a maximum of 212% of training speed boost. The third area you need to know is the Chief Talent Tree. You need a Chief level of 55 to reach the highly sought after training speed talent. This will boost your training speed by 160%. For this reason alone, I always stay in war mode when I'm training my troops. I've seen many survivors underestimating this and train troops under the development talent and thus they spend more time training a batch of troops. Whereas I'm probably training two batches of troops for the same amount of time. Now, before we jump into the next thing, I do want to share with you a gem of a secret. Trusted by many top players in State of Survival, receiving hundreds of positive feedback. If you want to grow strong while saving a bucket loads of monies, then Paxify is the answer. If you're struggling to hammer down your opponents and you don't want to sell your liver to go stronger, then Paxify can help you. Depending on the country, you can see savings between 10% to 25%. If you like the sound of this, then check out the link in the description below. If you're worried about the safety of your account, then bind your account to Fun Plus and you'll never lose access to your account ever again. So, what are you waiting for? Check out the link in the description below and start growing stronger with Paxify. Thank you to Paxify for sponsoring this video. The fourth way to increase your troop training speed is by the level of your training camps. Not only do they offer an increased troop training capacity, but at level 30, they each offer an amazing 6% boost to your training speed. Individually, they ain't much, but when you combine the four of them together, that's an amazing 24% training speed boost. As your state age progresses, you can continue to upgrade this to reach plasma level 10, giving you a whooping 32% training speed boost. Did you already know that your settlement prosperity also helps provide you a training speed boost? Well, if you did not know, now you know about it. Keeping your settlement in the green prosperity will boost your training speed by about 10%. This should explain why many of us love to add decorations into our settlement, or maybe not. Last but not least, one of the most important training speed boosts is the Governor buff and the State buff. The Patriot Governor buff provides you with a 50% training speed boost, whereas the Chief Strategist Governor buff provides you with a 10% training speed boost. These honors are typically bestowed to selected individuals, and it's only these individuals who can benefit from this. Besides this, the Governor will typically activate the State buff training incubator during key events, such as the survival of the fittest event or state versus state preparation stage. This state buff increases the training speed by 30% for 24 hours. I would recommend that you save your troops training speed ups and only use them during the days where the governor has activated the state buff training incubator. Separately, did you know winning the state versus state warfare stage increases the troop training speed to 75% for the governor buff and the state buff from 30% to 45%. Also, did you know the settlement buff training capacity boost actually helps to improve your training speed? It increases the amount of troops you can train at any one time. This, you gain a relative reduction by the percentage based on the governor's bestowed patriot buff and the state troop training buff. My advice, only use it in conjunction with the governor buff 
and the state buff. In the three years that I've been playing State of Survival, I never thought about using the training capacity boost. What a miss. One bonus tip for those of you that have already unlocked T11 troops like myself. Did you know training T9 troops and later upgrading them to T11 troops during events such as Survival of the Fittest or State vs State Preparation Stage gets you more points? This gorilla only trains T9 troops at all times and with using all these tips above, I upgrade them to my T11 troops during these events. I waited patiently for about 3 months only training T9 troops and if you want to watch that video where I spent 15,000 hours of speed ups training my troops, click on this link here to find out how it went and what ranking did I end up with at the end of playing clickety click for 2 hours. That's all folks, thanks for watching, if you like my videos please subscribe, leave a comment and turn on your notification bell for more amazing videos. Thank you, goodbye.